Should be fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. What's up guys, it's your boy CJ here, back with another video. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been quite a while since I last posted a video. Uh, I'm really doing pretty well, I've been busy. I have my classes started back, I've been really bit busy, and I'm running a bit of ideas at the same time. A lot, I scrapped up a lot of ideas, which kind of, you know, backtracked me for quite some time. Anyway, uh, I guess you could be judged from today's title. We're gonna talk about the one tool that's best for every content creator out there. And actually, in my opinion, you should should get it even if you're not content creator. It's actually a great tool for every person on earth because I find that I use this tool. Uh, before, I, I had a epiphany back then where I, I need a tool that can do everything that I want to do at every single moment. Now that might sound a little bit confusing, let me just get straight into it. So what I'm telling you today is actually, hang on, let me just get a pouch. All right, you ready? All right, so I'm talking about the Letterman, uh, uh, Letterman, um, Letterman Charge Titanium TTI, which is technically TTI stands for titanium. I don't even know why I'm repeating it. It's been quite some time since I did this. For God's sakes. Anyway, so if you guys don't know what this is, this is actually a multi tool. Now, if you guys never seen before, this is probably what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but yeah. But yeah, this is the Letterman Charge TTI, uh, basically the titanium version of it, and it is a multi tool. Now, yes multi-tool as in you open it up it folds into it and you open it up there's multi-tool there's inside the scissors and everything now i want to tell you guys why i tell this is a great tool for every single content creator out there and why i'm not talking about filters and not uh, cameras all that no why i'm talking about this guy now disclaimer alert that man did not send me this product i bought this thing with my own money and i tell you gotta tell you i love this thing ever since i got it and it was the, one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. I use it nearly every single day of my life. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, of course, first things first is the plier. Now, why do I think the plier is a great tool? Now, think of it this way. Most of the time when you're outside and sometimes when you're shooting with a tripod, with your camera, sometimes you probably have a couple of screws uh, on those equipment. And sometimes you got, trust me, if you've been shooting enough, you've been noticing some parts get loose. Some screws or something else may, definitely will get loose and you're definitely not gonna get a wrench out in a while, no. You're not gonna bring around uh, any, all sizes of wrench. So I find the pliers is really useful to uh, tightening back those bolts, uh, those bolts or those uh, nuts, if you will, uh, those bolt nuts, all right? So don't don't mistake there. Anyway, so yeah, uh, not to mention, it also includes a wire cutter, which, you know, it doubles, it's also very useful. Sometimes there's some thick uh, wire and materials, honestly, but until today, I haven't used a wire cutter yet. I pr primarily use the pliers itself, so yeah, I probably will find use for the wire cutters, but right now, not the wire cutters yet, so thank God for that. Anyway, back, I'm gonna fold it back down. All right, so it's pretty compact. As you can see, it's the size of my palm, and I have a medium-sized palm. Actually, for a man, I have a relatively small palm. Anyway, so first things first, it's the knife. Now, if you're a Malaysian, and you know that we can't exactly carry a knife in public. Uh, you can't carry a pocket knife, which I actually have, but I'm not gonna show it in this video because I don't wanna go get it. It's, been, it's you know, it's too much. If you're a knife nut out there, you should know that my Charge DTI actually comes with SV40, SV40 steel, yeah. Uh, essentially, that's a better quality steel, more higher quality, more higher tolerance. But yeah, a knife is, you know, if, if you ever use a knife in your life, you definitely know a knife is a great tool. You use it nearly every day, uh, every day and every part, opening parcels, cutting out leaves and stuff. You know, a knife is a universal tool. You love it. You know, you can pry things with it. Of course, this thing does more than that. Of course, next, you have a saw. I find this really useful when I'm outside shooting, uh, probably uh, outside shooting in the wilds, maybe under trees, forests, or sometimes I want props, I want some branches and stuff, I can use this saw and just cut it off uh, small branches. This can actually cut off quite a thick piece of branch by the way. These are really sharp tool and they're really great. So yeah, I find that this is really useful when you're trying to find props, you want branches, but you're not gonna just tear it off, it's just gonna look weird in the end. So what you can do, you can just saw it off with this and you're done with it. So yeah, I find it very useful in that case. Next up we have is a seatbelt cutter with a serrated, uh, serrated knife. So why I find this useful is, 
like the knife, I use it too, but I find the most useful is this part here. This is meant for a seatbelt cutter in case of emergency, so you cut it off. So, you know, for emergency stuff, you can use it. So yeah, that's why I say it's a life-saving tool as well. But I find this little tip here very useful when I want to cut off little delicate objects. Like for example, a little piece of cloth, I'll cut out a specific edge. When I put it on this little edge right here, I'm not sure you can see it. If you can see this little edge, I use it to finally to cut it off. So, and this is really, really sharp. I'm not gonna even try to cut it right now. This is really sharp. And yeah, it's so sharp that it just finely cut, cut, cut off cloth very smoothly and very finely and very useful. Next up, we have a file. Now, in my case, uh, I have encountered several occasions where I have some of my equipment, they kind of like got broke off in half or they, just, they of course they can be used, but sometimes they got chipped off here and there and they're relatively sharp. So I always use this file to file it off, making sure it's still flat and it doesn't hurt anybody in transport, uh, transportation process. So yeah, it's a really great tool. There's a uh, rougher edge and a finer edge. Uh, I'm not, you know, as if you guys know me by now, I'm not exactly a uh, hardware guy, so I'm not exactly a technical term, but there's a fine edge and as well as a more rough surface where you do you know, fine to uh, fall on. All right, now that's not all. So if you can see this now, that's not all the tools. Let's you go back inside. So first thing, a scissor. Really compact, really small, really useful. I've been using this uh, as my daily scissors because I generally don't have a personal scissors. Uh, don't ask me why I don't have a scissors. Everyone should have a scissor in their home. I have a little bit of a double-sided tape to stick on here. I, I try to cut off some double-sided tape to uh, revamp my uh, desk setups. So there's a bit of a double-sided tape here. But yeah, scissors, really, uh, really sharp, really useful. It's spring-loaded, so it's really helpful that way. Uh, if you guys are wondering about the pliers, it's not spring-loaded. So, but the uh, scissors is spring-loaded. So. Kudos to uh, Letterman for thinking, thinking of that. So yeah, scissors. Everyone needs scissors in, the, in their life. It's probably the second best thing to a knife. Well, depending on how you think, think of it. Next up, we have the pry bar. Now, you might be thinking pry bar is just you know for prying things. Yes, exactly. For prying things. Sometimes you go to a shoot somewhere and there are some surfaces stuff uh, that is gu gum or goop. I use this pry bar to scrape it off because it's sharp in the edge there, so I use it to scoop it up to scratch it off. It doesn't leave much of a scratch mark as well as it being uh, so sharp, it's useful and it's hardened and so it makes it really nice to scrape things off. As well as for prying certain objects, maybe some of your equipments are old and they uh, they need some, some prying job done. So I'm not really sure why you can find usage for it, but for me, for scraping things off, I don't want to use my knife because it'll blunt it, so I'll use this prying bar to you know replace it, of course. Alright, on to the next tool. Let's see here, uh, yeah, right between the, uh, I don't have nails, so if you guys don't have nails, there might be a little bit of a problem, but there's nice long edge grooves here to pull it out, so you, for you guys shouldn't be a problem, it's just for me. This is a special screw. You might not notice this very much in the island and wire. I'm not sure you can see this. Uh, hopefully you can see this. Yeah, it's a very fine screw. Anyway, so what this screw is for is basically for your glasses. Now, for those people that doesn't have glasses, it's all right, you guys will not understand this. But for you guys out there that have glasses, you might be realizing sometimes your glasses inside here actually get rusty. And to, un uh, to unscrew them, oh yes, you can always get a screw, but this correct size for it, and you want to find a correct size, by the time you're done it, you probably busted the screw holes, so it probably bore through it. So what the, the, this thing is, is it's specialized for screw, uh, the screws on your glasses, so what I do is I use it to clean, and sometimes, sometimes to tighten back up, because as you all know, everything that screw on gets loose over time. So this thing's really helpful, and it's actually, I believe it can be replaced, I'm not really sure, it says it's a spring-loaded one here, it feels like I can replace it somewhere else, but I'm not sure yet. But that's for my uses for it. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Let's see. Ah, we have this. This guy here. Now, you might be wondering what the hell is this. Now, let me take a look. All right. Probably no, don't notice it yet. This is, in fact, an Allen key. Uh, okay. Anyway, so yeah, this is an Allen key. Now, if you are a photographer or a videographer, you should know by now, if you have a peak design or any other small uh, small products, especially base plates, someone uses Allen key instead of screw-ons. And that is a pain in the backside. So sometimes when you're out in the wild, you don't exactly have an Allen key uh, at ready or even the right size for that matter. You could bring out an extra Allen, uh, extra pouch of Allen key. That's my phone, by the way. It's pretty noisy right now. I don't know why. But yeah, you can bring out another set of Allen keys. 
I don't recommend doing that because that's just another bunch of tools to bring out and I don't like that so I wanted something in the universal and I got this a Letterman instead. So Letterman gave me a uh, couple of options really. So the version I came with uh, not only came with a pouch, it also came with a set of uh, extra what we call as bits, basically um, this Allen key compartment where I took it out, I can replace it. So this is one. Uh, there's actually two sided here, so it's actually magnetically loaded. And I have about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve, twelve including uh, mine, so that's fourteen. So it's fourteen, fourteen in total. So I have a couple of screws, uh, Phillips screws heads, and uh, small screws, so small hex keys. Um, it's an incredible tool, basically. They came out, came together with it. It does cost a little bit hefty price tag, but I will tell you why it costs some, such a, uh, a bit of a hefty price tag. But yeah, so as you can see, it's really useful. It comes with all sizes, shapes, and sizes, and this thickness. That's it. It's so thin. I don't have to carry a gigantic size Allen key, which is usually this big. I could when I could just carry this and this, which holds another uh, what 16 tools. So yeah. That's the best part, in my opinion, of this entire tool because that saves a lot of time, save my, uh, save me a lot of times so when I'm out shooting. So next will be a bottle opener. Now, if you guys know, after a long day of shooting, you want to relax a little bit, you go to uh, you go to 7-Eleven uh, or Family Mart, buy yourself um, something. I'm not gonna say on this content, of course. Buy yourself a soya milk. All right, a soy milk, a soy milk that has kind of lid on it has a lid on it, so you use this bottle opener and open it up. <laughs> I'm just joking you, alright? So, this is a bottle opener, of course, you can definitely use it to open a bottle open, but for me, in practical uses as a content creator, I use this thing to scrape off uh, more narrow objects. Now, because of this thing is being sharp, but not overly sharp where you can cut people with it, it's a uh, sharp edge, I'm not sure you can see it, um, it's a little dark. Yeah, you can see it. It's a sharp edge, so it, use, it makes great for a tool for scraping off. Sometimes you don't want to use your pliers because pliers, generally, it's more of a handling thing and not for scraping. So I don't like it. So I use the bottle opener to scrape things off. So yeah, if you go out drinking with me, you probably do not want to uh, use my bottle opener, all right? Because <laughs> I use this thing to scrape off a lot of stuff. So yeah, I'm not sure how much tools I've talked about so far. I think, uh, what, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven tools? Twelve. 12 tools, I think. I'm not sure, I'll list it out later on, uh, probably right here how many tools in it exactly there is, but yeah. Overall, this is by far, in my opinion, the best tool possible if you wanna get it out in the public. And if you wanna create a content great, you gotta get yourself one of these tools, because trust me, uh, no matter how many cameras you have, how many great tripods, how many expensive lenses you have, if you don't have the tool to assemble them together or you know, get yourself a jam, Basically no point to be honest in my opinion. So this thing has saved me so many times out in jam, not just in content creation. It's also very useful for real life applications. Of course, this is a multi-tool, it's a hardware tool. So, you know, it's an incredibly incredible tool. And yeah, basically, you know what? Just go and get it right now. I'm gonna link one link in the description below uh, because they, I bought it from them. So they offer great prices and ships fast if you're Malaysian by the way. As for the price, uh, you, I'm not going to tell you the price because I'm not going to tell you the price because I don't want to tell the price. Alright, but I'm going to tell you, once you search, you might search it to be a little bit hefty. And I'll explain to you why is it so hefty. It's because of the warranty. It offers a 25 years warranty. 25 years. No matter what you break, what the problem is, send it back, they'll send you a new one. Or they'll send you a specific part. Maybe uh, you broke the blade in half from like maybe usage and you probably give them a prime valid reason, you send it back to them, they'll give you back a new blade or a hell and if they see your titanium so and if you see your letterman is very old, everyone will just send you a new letterman. So yeah, that's how great their warranty is because they trust in you, they they trust in their products. I've heard cases whereby some of the lettermans actually stop bullets. I'm not particularly sure if that's true or not, you guys gotta have to search it up. But yeah, this is a great tool for content creators and men alike. And women. I should have planned to get them to my parents or my girlfriend. What do you guys think? Huh? Anyway, what do you guys think? Where should I get this for my family or even my parents? You know, drop it uh, down in the comment section below. Remember to give me a likes and thumbs up. Of course, not to mention, uh, always, always, always like and subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to come follow me on Instagram, by the way. So yeah, it's your boy CJ, out.